f fantastic away form um, and then probably a mixed bag at home but we've watched a lot of their home games and they've been unlucky at times great chances they're a good team um, we know what it'll come down to um, both boxes and um, competing in the middle of the pitch and, and, and putting a performance which gives you a chance of, of winning the game of football I, I feel like I say the same thing every week but at the moment the team are, are, are giving themselves a chance by uh, with a platform of a good performance you know quick to the ball a good work ethic a, a strong mentality in terms of the approach to the game and then it comes down to a little bit of quality or mistakes on the day um, long long old journey and um, which we've got to be wary of in terms of the, the, the staff and looking after the players but one we've got to look forward to um, following back to back top of the table clashes against Frost Green and, and Crew, now probably Exeter City go into this game on Saturday as favourites. Does that bring a different kind of pressure to the group? Favourites according to who? To the bookies. To the bookies? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we're still early in terms of this season. Um, and if we're going to be top of the table, then we might have to um, be able to hold on to a bit of pressure. And if we are favourites, we're, we're favourites. We don't, certainly don't see it that way. We, we go into every game with a huge amount of respect for, for the opposition and our opponents we're up against. And we know how tough it will be to win any game of football, regardless of who you're playing at League Two. You've got to do the basics well. Um, and that will be our message before they go out at the weekend. And um, we're hoping it's going to be a good pitch and a good day for football. And, and there's a good bit of backing from our away contingent who always try travel so well it's, it's a long old way for them to go um, but it's, a, it's a, a place where we've done relatively well in, in recent years so look when you when you're competing at the top end of the table um, the confidence should be relatively good um, and the players should be ready to play football in terms of um, Forest Green as well there's a similar kind of test with Cambridge United in terms of the, their good defensive record I think only Colchester outside the playoffs have, have conceded less than them so it's going to be a case where um, being clinical is um, high on the agenda again. Without a doubt, and I mean, we spoke about that time and time again this season. Um, but it only takes one goal to win any game of football. I know it's old fashioned, but a, 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 a well organised and a gritty 1 0 win against Forest Green. I thought there was a real quality shown in the terms of that first period when we were on top, and then to see the game out, second period when you know, it was a pretty even game. Um, they had a, a bit of possession, but didn't really hurt us too much. And when they did, our defenders and Johnny made important blocks and important saves it come, it'll come down to the moments um, if they've not conceded too many goals we'll have to work even harder to score but we spoke about Forest Green's defensive record we knew that before the game um, and we want our defensive record to keep on improving we want our goals return to keep on improving so you, you've got to get the balance between the two um, like we said we, we've gone to Cambridge on a number of occasions over recent years and performed pretty well it's all about the performance if you give yourself a chance by a, a performance then hopefully some players will step up on the day and provide that, that those moments we talk about um, Nigel Attingan has come back into the squad recently from injury and, and performed well. Is there any uh, other players on the fringes of a comeback that could come in contention over the next week? Not, not immediately, not, not in terms of next week. Um, Lee Holmes, Gary Warren, um, we hope to have training. I've said it an awful lot, I hope to have training in the near future. Obviously, Lewis and Nicky have gone under the knife, so to speak, so they're the more longer term ones. Um, but the, the squad's been been strong this season and, and when it's been called upon it's, it's, it's stepped up to the plate it'll certainly be called upon in the next next week but also for the rest of the season so um we're gonna to have to be wise in terms of what we do with the personnel at certain times um, nigel's obviously come back into the fold and, and getting game time and it was important to get that hour under his belt against newport and then he probably had a, a 20 minute not cameo but a 20 minute spell on, on saturday um i've signed him for a reason i've signed him to, to play for this football club and and put in good performances for this football club so we want him available and, and fit and available to play 90 plus minutes look that'll take a lot of time um, and that's why I've got to be so so sort of experienced in terms of how we integrate him back into that, those those match minutes because that, there's a level of football you can train at and play but then when you get into league two it's, it's, it's totally different so we'll support Nigel as best we can but he's he's, he's, he's going to make us stronger. Um, also got to be wise in, in terms of two long trips and two games in quick succession of rest and recuperation. Well, yeah, definitely. And, and there's not too much you can do. It's still that same distance. Um, we, we're going to train for a short period tomorrow and then make the journey. Um, and then hopefully the boys will be well enough rested for the game. In terms of the recovery, they'll do their bits and pieces on the Sunday after a long journey back on the Saturday. Um, and then Monday, Tuesday, in preparation for Scumfoot, but we're not looking too far ahead. Um, Cambridge first and foremost. Um, I'll advise them to eat the right things on the coach before and after the game. Um, but they're footballers, they're human beings. Um, they know how to look after themselves. Um, we spoke a lot about the balance of the group in terms of the ages, and hopefully the, 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 the better senior pros, the ones who've been there and done it and know what it takes to win on a Saturday, Tuesday, and when the, the travelling is involved, they'll be advising those young ones as much as the, the staff will do, um, and being good role, role models for each other.